today we are going to study about pediatric dose calculation so in early days of my pharmacy I used to think why they have so many formula especially in calculations so the reason is one of the reasons is because it is unethical to do clinical trials on kids so the studies have created some formula to calculate children dose within the safe therapeutic window and within the range which is effective for them so we can calculate pediatric dose by age weight and body surface area I will put a link on how to calculate body surface area in my description and in the i button so you can also watch that video for spe specifically for body surface area we have five formula like the clerk's rule fried rule young's rule calling rule and monogram monogram is basically by body surface area so fried rule always remember that fried has an i in his spelling and this is for an infant dose so the infant age that is less than one year old when we have the age less than one year in question we will apply fried rule for children who are between 1 year to 12 years we will apply Young's rule if we get weight in our exam then we will apply Clark's rule and similarly if you got a value in meter square they will not mention BSA or body surface area you have to identify that this is body surface area by the unit so if you got value in meter square then you will apply our, uh, this formula with body surface area and other rule is called calling rule which I don't think that we used so much but uh, mainly we use Young's rule and Fried rule, not even the clerk's rule. But somehow uh, the first three are more popular than this fifth one. But this is also a way to calculate child dose. So let's see some sample questions which we can get in exam. In our first question, which is a part A, you receive a call from your community physician. He asked about the dose for a six month infant. Now we have a six month infant who is suffering with a general fever due to recent vaccination. The fever was not too high, but her mom was little concerned. He also stated that the average adult dose of medicine is 650 milligram. So we have average adult dose and the age of the infant is 6 month. So remember with the I we will apply fried rule. Let's calculate. For infant dose age of month multiply by adult dose. 150 is um, we consider we assume that the adult is 12 years and a half 12 and a half years old so 12 and a half years is equals to 150 months so that's why we put 150 here so when we put values uh, infant dose 6 months multiplied by 650 milligrams divided by 150 we get 26 milligrams this is the um, dose of an infant now it is a sample question 26 milligram is too high for an infant I know but that's okay it's a sample question 
so in other part of the same question we have same doctor called you again and said that the mom is on low income and does not have any medical insurance coverage right now she cannot buy too many medications the physician wants to prescribe same medicine to his four years old child calculate the dose for her now with the previous part we know that the adult dose is 650 milligram and here the age of a child is four years since they are uh, he's uh, he's younger than one year so we will apply young rule so in young's rule the formula is child dose is equals to age in years multiplied by adult dose divided by age plus 12 we put all the values 4 4 plus 12 12 is of course the adult age what we consider multiply by 650 milligram when we calculate it comes 162.5 now here remember that if the value from after point is more than 50 then we will round up to uh, 163 so the amount you will give to the child is 163 not 162.5 in the same question part 3 calculate a dose for a child who weight whose weight is 22 pound if the average adult dose of a medicine is 500 milligram so we have 500 milligram, milligram adult dose and then the weight 22 pound so because we have weight we will use clerk's rule the formula is child dose weight in pound divided by 150 150 is the average pound we consider a child have uh, at the age of 12 years and uh, multiply by adult dose so when we put the values we get 73.33 and as i told you that after the point if the value is above 50 then we add 1 if it is not 50 less than 50 then we will not add so when we round up round it up it will be 73 milligrams so we will uh, inject or we will give a dose of 73 milligram to the child not 74 because it is less than 50 next question it says calculate a dose for a child who is five years old the average do adult dose of a medicine is 800 milligram so we can use young's rule in it because the child is over one year old but since we already use once here we will take an example of calling's rule so child dose age at next birthday multiply by adult dose and divide by 24 so adult dose the child is currently five years we put it six then divide by 24 and multiply by 800 milligrams when we calculate everything it comes 200 milligrams simple but since you see when you give a question like the years and the adult you will automatically apply young's rule instead of calling's rule so that's okay answer would be same and other formula is you need to calculate a dose for a child who is 100 centimeter tall and has weight 50 kilogram the adult dose of medicine is 150 milligram so since we have the height and the weight we put body surface area formula and when we calculate it I will put the link when we calculate it it comes 0.80 meter square 
so child dose body surface area divided by 1.73 multiply by adult dose 0 0.80 divided by 1.73 multiply by 150 since the adult dose is 150 1.73 is the average body surface area of an adult this we calculate with the formula and then we get 69.36 since it is less than 50 so we round it up to 69 milligram thanks for watching please like share and subscribe and take a very good care of yourself bye for now